Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. We're traveling back east and we're covering the remaining I-94 business loops. We've already covered the Medora and Valley City business loops while we were heading west and we'll get the other four going east. In today's video, we're in Dickinson, North Dakota. Here on the western end of the loop, I-94 business runs concurrent with the North Dakota Highway 22 bypass, which runs around the edge of Dickinson to keep trucks off the main north-south thoroughfare, and also to avoid a low-clearance railroad underpass. Like all the other I-94 business routes in North Dakota, we're traveling along the historic route of U.S. Highway 10. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it to be notified of when our new videos come out. And hit the like button if you enjoy our videos. Here, I-94 business becomes Villard Street. We're now traveling alongside the former Northern Pacific Railroad, now owned by Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway, which provides freight service to Dickinson.
On the right is the Dickinson Train Depot, which was served by Amtrak's North Coast Hiawatha from 1971 to 1979. Prior to that, Northern Pacific and Burlington Northern's passenger train was called the North Coast Limited, and it ran from Chicago, Illinois to Seattle, Washington. Dickinson has not had passenger service since 1979. We conclude here where Villard branches off of the I-94 business. This is short of the eastern end of the business loop because Jason was driving and doesn't know his way around town as well as I do. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support our channel, please check out our merchandise at 504roadtrips.spreadshirt.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share, follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.